Hi Aries Energies, it's me Stormy and here is your horoscope for March 2018. So before we jump into the horoscope, Astrology 102, the reformatted class that will be following the 101 class that happened in March is now up. You can sign up. We're going to go over some really good stuff. Continue to advance your knowledge. It's a five week session and because the class has been reformatted, it is discounted. So click in the description box down below, check it out. And of course, come join us for $3 Thursday. We're going to be talking about good old retrograde stuff in March. So good times. Now, Aries, what an interesting month, I think, for you, because there's lots of indications in the trend um, for career and work advancement and things like that. But there's also this whole other underlying thing that I keep seeing in the trend, and that is, Aries, you're making a shift this month towards your destiny. Really, truly, this is about, you have seen in the coming and previous months, right? You've seen a shift is happening in you. Your identity is changing. Whether this be at work, at home, in your daily routine, whatever it is, I feel like all of you have been feeling this underlying shift coming and it's like I can't quite bridge the gap to get there or what's happening? What am I turning into? And this month I think you get a lot of help to make those changes, but to make them willingly. So let's jump in. We're just going to do this by date. Now at the beginning of the month, and let me say this too. I misspoke in a weekly video. We are not having three full moons in March. Oh my goodness, you'd have to catch me outside, right? <laughs> We're having three moons in March. Two of them are full, all right? So right here on the first, we're gonna have our first full moon that's happening in the sign of Virgo at 11 degrees. This is gonna hit your sixth house, okay? Now the sixth house is work, health, co-workers, but it's also daily routine. And I'm really thinking, Aries, here that you're seeing some piece of your daily routine is not working, right? Like maybe this needs some shift because remember, the full moon comes to give us endings, acknowledgements, adjustments. That's what it tells us that we're going to do. We're going to shift. But what it also leaves an opening in the immediate ending or changing of something is a brand new beginning, a fresh start, a more functional start. So whether this be at work, you own a business, you need to hire people, you need to look at the daily routine around work, you do freelance work, you're looking for a job, um, you wanna do something different with your health routine. This is a wonderful energy for that. And Aries, you are ruled by the head. This is an amazing energy to help you make the distance from here to here. Okay, it's not all here, it's here. Who are you here? Because I'm sure that lately it has been in conflict with what is right here. So it's okay to come to the next identity. It's okay to come to the next version of yourself. Now, when we get to the sixth, hey, we've got a busy Aries placement, right? Mercury's coming into Aries, Venus is here in Aries, we've got Uranus here in Aries, everything is happening in your sign in the first house right before birthday time nonetheless, right? So what do these energies do? Mercury is helping you communicate, right? Mercury's looking at how you communicate, your mental life, what's, your, what's going on in your head, right? What's happening here? Who you're communicating with? And Venus is stepping in to give you charm, like she has just made you like butter. You know what I mean? You are just smooth and creamy and delicious and the world is out to accept you. And Uranus is putting you in this position where again, you've got this new identity rising to the surface. You may be ready to present yourself differently than you have been. Maybe you want to be known in the world differently. Maybe you want a new outfit. Maybe you've had some changes in your relationship life and now you're starting to show up differently in your world. Whatever it is, you're getting a brand new presentation of yourself out into the world and Venus is helping to make that absolutely delicious. I will tell you with Aries moving, or excuse me, Mercury moving into Aries, Mercury is going to retrograde on the 22nd of this month. So make sure you try and get all your technical things um, done before the 22nd of the month. Now, if you have to make decisions after the 22nd, you trust your gut, the universe has got your back. But remember, technology is going to slow down and all of this good stuff and miscommunication. So you really want to make any big decisions you need to at the beginning of the month if you can. Now, when we get to the eighth, we've got Jupiter taking its retrograde. Now, Jupiter is our biggest planet in our solar system. It's also our biggest benefic planet. So he's bringing luck and wisdom generally when he's direct and opportunity, right? Now, because he's so big and he's so wonderful, even when Jupiter takes a retrograde all the way until July, he's still giving benefit. He's still giving opportunities, but it's slowed down. 
right? Now, one of the things I will tell you with Jupiter being retrograde here in Scorpio in your eighth house, one of the things you want to be mindful of is looking for these opportunities to practice intimacy. The intimacy of you to you, the intimacy of you with another person. Where are you at? How are you communicating? How are you showing up in relationships? Jupiter retrograde is going to also show you here in the Scorpio energy what you've been afraid to have at the surface right he's going to give you an opportunity to very slowly start to investigate maybe some hidden things for you right that usually the thing we're most afraid of is the thing that we actually want which is you know just the funny part of humanity now jupiter retrograde as well i think one of the best ways that you can use it is take it look back what's happened in your eighth house do you have trauma in your life do you have debt do you have any of these things that maybe are from the past did you want to study astrology or something in the metaphysical um, arts this is a wonderful time use your jupiter retrograde and every retrograde to take yourself backwards so that you can come current quickly Jupiter will slow down the opportunities even though they are coming. So if you're waiting for your taxes, something like that, you could see some delays most certainly. Now on the 14th, Jupiter who's over here in your eighth house and retrograde is actually gonna come into a semi-square with Saturn who's over here in your 10th house. Now the 10th house is career, but it's also soul level calling. What are you feeling built to do? What are you feeling to put out in the world? Who are you supposed to be in the world right now? Now this energy tells us in this semi-square, you must restructure in order to take full advantage of the opportunity. Let me say that to you again. Aries, come along. Allow the change. You must restructure in these areas, in your eighth house, to take advantage of the opportunity in your 10th house. And the opportunity is there. Wherever the fear is at, go towards it. Wherever the excitement's at, go towards it, okay? Now, when we do get to the 17th of the month, we've got the only new moon we're going to be having for the month. And this is at 26 degrees of Pisces happening over here in your 12th house, joining both the sun and Neptune. So it's a very lit up 12th house space. Um, Neptune is very comfortable with this moon in Pisces, right? And the sun is just bringing light. Now, the new moon is where we plant these seeds of intention. For me, when I look at this for you, Aries, this is a lovely opportunity for you to have a spiritual awakening. And this is the thing, how you've been navigating through the world, your identity, who you've believed that you are is shifting. So to have the opportunity to make peace, the 12th house is our closure house, fear house, spiritual house, hidden things, to make some peace, to get good with that. That is going to lend itself to a phenomenal year for you, right? Because you can't keep trying to be who you were because that person doesn't exist anymore, right? It's different. So whether you're a business owner, a parent, um, a spouse or a partner now, you're single, you have decided to be an adventurer, you've changed your religion, whatever your shift is, this new moon is your chance to plant those seeds of intention. And on the same day, we've got Mars coming into Capricorn, joining both Pluto and Saturn. So literally, Aries, you've had to die off so that something else can live in this 10th house space. This is the place of career, soul level calling. Who are you? What are you built to do? And Mars is helping you move towards that, right? So look at this. In the quiet space, you're making some peace. And as you make peace, it grants you freedom. The truth sets you free. You can move towards the thing that you're supposed to be doing. How gorgeous is that? It is also with Mars and Capricorn, wonderful time to take on career endeavors. Anything you need to kind of get ready to move forward or you want to take some action on in this soul level calling place career place you have a lot of grace to be able to do that now we get to the 20th of the month and i say happy birthday aries happy birthday to you guys we've got the sun coming into aries it is also just a day later on the 21st the astrological new year we are officially starting our year over it's very exciting and of course we get to start with you and your birthday now on the 22nd though we have mercury taking a retrograde right here in your sign mercury retrograde in your sign it's a communication planet right so when mercury goes retrograde we rethink re-edit, recommit, revise, um, reinvent, reassociate. We re, you go back. And Aries, you are going to take this energy and you're going to turn back and who and what you're going to look at is you. 
Who have you been? What is the cool stuff that you've done? What's the crap stuff that you've done? What are you willing to let go of and sacrifice so that you can have something cooler in the future, right? Like, what does that look like? But you're gonna re-look at you and a lot of the you you're gonna be really looking at is your thinking and the way that you communicate with people. And a big thing I will tell you, Aries, you get a lot swirling up here in your head and sometimes something different comes out of your mouth. What do you really mean? What's here? Say what's here right? So that the rest of us can enjoy that. Now with Mercury retrograde, things to keep in mind, communication devices usually go down. Communication, there's lots of miscommunication that happens. It can bring back old lovers from the past. All of these things are suspect when Mercury goes retrograde, but whatever comes up, take a chance, stand there, see it for what it is, see what you can do with it and make no final or big decision, sign no contracts if you can avoid it, until we get to the end of this retrograde, okay? Now, on the 31st, we have got a full moon happening in Libra. This will be in your seventh house. The full moon, again, bringing ending, acknowledged, adjustment. And what may be happening for some of you is, yes, a full moon can bring a relationship to an end. It can. But that is very open, okay? For some of you, it will be the end of a relationship. For some of you, it will mean, Aries, you have seen that you're ready to show up differently and your relationship or your partner is ready to show up differently. So the relationship dies off in a way, right? And more balance, more harmony comes into it. You've had Venus in your sign all month. You are really smooth like butter right here too. So the relationship zone, you could have a much different perspective on it. If you are single, I will tell you the full moon doesn't always bring brand new beginnings or relationships, but it certainly could. And the other thing I'm thinking of is that Venus very quickly after this full moon goes into Taurus. So some of you could be having high interaction with Taurus energies this month. So you'll have to keep me posted on how that looks after this full moon happening at 10 degrees of Libra. All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. I hope you come study astrology with me. <laughs> if you need an appointment, click in the description box down below and come visit me at stormygrace.com. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next month.